Mac Sunbelt Challenge played a very good Kent State team who had won 45 games over the previous two years, same as us coming in, been the NCAA tournament we both went two years ago. Got a nice team. Uh, we played well at times and had a one-point lead with four to go and didn't hang on. Uh, fell behind by six, actually, with a couple minutes to go and then got it back to two. Had an opportunity to, to tie the score and or take the lead, and we weren't able to do that on the offensive end. So uh, a good game that I think helped both teams. And moving forward, it'll help us down down the road. Then we turned around and played a team from Dallas, UT Dallas, Division Three, been in the NCAA tournament. Uh, this past year, they won 19 games, had a, had a good team, had a couple of really good players back with a 6'10 kid that led the league in field goal percentage. Uh, school record field goal percentage for them, actually, uh, career-wise. So uh, a good player and they had a good freshman guard, Peyton Doolin, had a really good game against us and gave us what we wanted, a, a tough game that we were able to jump out and get the lead extended a little bit in the middle of the second half and, and win that basketball game. We then turned our sights to University of Houston, where we'll play on Wednesday They've got another great team, final uh, four-type caliber team that certainly can get there. The last three years, they've won 97 games. I think that's maybe the most in the country outside of Connecticut. Uh, but uh, Coach Sampson does a great job. They've got a really good team back with a lot of experience and uh, preseason ranked again in the top five. So we'll have our hands full with those guys. It'll be a physical game. And one that, uh, again, I think helps us a lot moving forward. You talked about Kent's or UT Dallas's bigs. It looked like that y'all were able to take their big guys pretty much out of the game. Yeah, I thought we did a good job on the big kid, uh, Dan, for sure. I think, uh, you know, again, 72% from the field. I think the year before, it's maybe 66 overall, 64, 66 overall to be their career field goal percentage leader. He's a good player, and we were excited that we did a good job on him and, and kept him at bay, although the freshman guard got us pretty good. He, he played well. So is it just, I mean, a team like Houston, rebound is always a challenge. It's really a challenge against a team like is that is. Is it not turning over the ball in the backcourt and rebounding, or what's, what's the big concern? Yeah, that uh, well, it, everything's a concern with them for sure, but the rebounding is the number one concern. Uh, Kevin, you've got uh, a team that we, we like to say the game starts when the ball's on the glass, uh, and that's when they really get going. They, they're an excellent offensive rebounding team. Uh, just doing okay so far in the two games. They had a home game against Jackson State, and then they had a tough – uh, game against Auburn in the Toyota Center on Saturday night. But they've rebounded the ball well. They're shooting 50% from the floor. They're shooting 50% from three. They uh, 79 from the free throw line. They don't turn it over a lot, and they're very physical. So you have to try to match your physicality and play with them. That's, they're going to be aggressive. They'll foul, and, and we've got to hold our ground and try to fight on, on the glass and on the defensive end. How much are – how much is Houston that you see? How are they different without Depps? Because he was such a galvanizing figure for them. Is that the wrong name? Shed? Shed. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, Shed was a great player, uh, really tough young man. And what he got hurt, I think he rolled his ankle maybe in the Duke game. And the lead eight, I mean, they, they've got a chance to, to get back to Final Four. But what a competitor he was and uh, just a super player for him. So they went out. They've got their other players back pretty much. And they picked up uh, Milo Suzan from Oklahoma. And he's the starting point guard now. He started the first two games. His numbers are solid. He's still trying to find his way with game experience. But – Certainly, he's a tough young man and got size and will do a good job at the point, but he's not at Shed's caliber at, at this time. So is this about seeing your team go out and just play aggressively? Like, what's the mental approach when you play a team that's good on Yeah, try to improve and get, give ourselves an opportunity to win and, and to get better. Again, they'll expose us 
just like Kent State did. I think these games are both good for us early in the year, and we'll learn a lot about ourselves from that game. Um, and we're going to have to play well to have an opportunity to win. We've won there before. Uh, we've beat Houston when they came here, the only time they came here. So we know we can beat them, but it's going to be quite the challenge and a really good opportunity for our young men. Is this a game where you want to play more than you normally would against a really good team just because of maybe the pace would be too much if you don't? like, like And as physical it is, just yeah. to keep guys as fresh as possible. Could be. I mean, going into the UT Dallas game, we played a lot of people in that game. We rotated quite a few in and out. Minutes were pretty even. Uh, I think Kentrell may have played the most at 27, but everybody else was pretty much between 15 and 20. And uh, we could possibly do that again uh, against Houston. We'll just have to wait and see. So what is it? Um, you mentioned they, they, they shoot the three well. So defensively, is it just about – obviously it's about not giving up too many second chance points. But what do you have to do defensively just to keep them in? Well, we got got to guard our our yard. We got to sit down and guard the basketball first. We got to cut the floor in half. Try to guard the paint. We got to block out and limit them to one shot, which would be extremely hard to do because they're going to get some offensive rebounds. But we've got to keep that number down. Uh, and something you said earlier too, Kevin, we've got to take care of the ball. We don't need live ball turnovers where we can give up some transition buckets. Uh, you know, they certainly can score in bunches. And just like most good teams, us included, they're going to score off their defense quite a bit. It's like you have a lot of guys that can help you with the whole handling the ball and get the pass. It's not just your point guard that can handle it and be your practice, right? I mean, yeah, we've got yeah we've got good skilled players that can several guys can bring the ball up to court. You know, Jeremiah's brought the ball up to court on the break a couple of times already this season. So has uh, Zeke Cook. So those guys can bust out with it. We've got wings that can handle the ball. So, uh, and, and we'll need that. We'll need to be strong with the basketball and have a low turnover number if we're going to stay in this game.